It's a wonderful life had the potential to become excessively sentimental and cliched, but thanks to the exceptional quality of the direction and screenplay, it transformed into a stunning, heartwarming, and emotionally resonant film. Although there are moments of humor, they are not of the belly-laughing variety, but rather possess a subtle charm. Conversely, certain scenes evoke a profound sense of sorrow and anguish. Frank Capra's direction is nothing short of remarkable, displaying a remarkable level of sensitivity and nuance. Furthermore, Capra's talent as a screenwriter shines through, as he crafted one of the most authentic and deeply touching scripts ever seen in cinema. The visual aspects of It's a Wonderful Life are impressive and timeless. The cinematography is clear, the black and white visuals are stunning, and the Christmas scenery is nostalgic. The movie also has a beautiful and well-composed score by Dmitry Tiomkin that adds to its charm without overshadowing the story's key moments. George Bailey, brilliantly portrayed by the talented James Stewart, embodies the perfect example of an everyday hero that resonates deeply with all of us. He faces the usual challenges of life, such as the responsibility of providing for and raising a family. However, his burdens extend far beyond these ordinary struggles. Unbeknownst to George, fate has chosen him to become the unyielding symbol of resistance, in his quaint town of Bedford, falls against the tyrannical grasp of the wealthiest and most heartless individual in the community, personified by the exceptional Lionel Barrymore. The situation at hand can be likened to the classic tale of David vs. Goliath, where Mr. Potter, with his seemingly boundless resources, holds a distinct advantage. The character Peter Bailey, portrayed by Samuel S. Hines, aptly questions the motives behind Potter's relentless pursuit of power and wealth, pondering the significance of such accumulation. It becomes evident that Mr. Potter possesses an extravagant amount of wealth that surpasses any conceivable necessity, leading one to consider the potential impact of a charitable act on his part. Before the arrival of Clarence the Angel, played by Henry Travers, he is told about George Bailey's life and the challenges he has faced. We witness the sacrifices he has made for the benefit of many others. We also observe the selfish actions of Potter, who takes advantage of George's inability to save everything. Remember the basic plot outline. A lot of people in Bedford Falls on Christmas Eve notice that their friend George is toting a heavy load of mysterious origins. Their prayers reach the heavens where an angel is dispatched to aid. George finds himself in trouble on the day before Christmas, even though it is not his fault. This leads him to feel extremely hopeless. To help him, an angel is sent to show him what the world would be like if he had never existed. This experience teaches us all to consider the impact of our contributions. What if Potter was given the same opportunity? In a way, Charles Dickens did just that in A Christmas Carol. Would Mr. Potter change? It's an interesting point of speculation. Aside from the previously mentioned cast members, this film features a large number of actors who have previously worked with Capra. Add to that a few others, and you have a perfectly cast feature film. In the film Frank Capra strives to communicate the profound message that the actions and choices of an individual have far-reaching consequences ultimately impacting the lives of numerous others. Through the intricate weaving of interconnected storylines, Capra effectively illustrates how society as a whole benefits when individuals embrace compassion, selflessness, and empathy. This fundamental lesson, though seemingly uncomplicated in its essence, possesses an extraordinary capacity to inspire and provoke introspection, urging viewers to consider the ripple effect of their own existence and the transformative power they hold to positively influence the lives of those around them. I wholeheartedly recommend watching It's a Wonderful Life, as it possesses an abundance of heartwarming moments that will undoubtedly leave a lasting impact. This timeless cinematic masterpiece is not only renowned for its association with the holiday season, but it also holds its own as one of the greatest films ever created transcending the boundaries of being solely a Christmas classic. Thank you so much for listening to my movie review of Frank Capra's 1946 classic It's a Wonderful Life.